Some common reasons why women might feel stuck in a rut or a funk includes things like prolonged stress and feeling overworked. Now, this common term is known as burnout, something we've all faced before. Feeling unfulfilled or lacking a sense of purpose is another common reason why you might feel stuck in a rut or a funk. Routine redundancy, so doing the same things over and over and over again without any variety or excitement is just plain boring. And this is also a common reason why a woman such as yourself may feel as though you're stuck in a rut or a funk. Life transition, so major life changes such as moving to a new city or starting a new job or ending a long-term relationship can and will disrupt your sense of stability and cause all types of emotional turmoil. Unresolved emotional issues, health issues, mental health issues, chronic illness, depression, anxiety, injury, or even general fatigue can make you feel as though you are stuck in a rut. Some other common reasons include isolation or a lack of social interaction and support, financial stressors, lack of achievement, external pressures, or caring too much on what society expects from you, family pressures, comparing yourself to other people, poor work-life balance, so difficulty balancing work and responsibilities and your personal life, or feeling as though you have no control over your own time. And last but certainly not least, one of the most common reasons why women feel like we are stuck in a rut or a funk is a lack of self-care. From my own personal experience, this is the most common reason why you might feel as though you too are stuck in a rut. So this simply means neglecting your physical and emotional and mental well-being. And this naturally leads to, over time, it naturally leads to feeling depleted in your energy and not motivated at all. So there you have it. I have given you 12 common reasons why you might feel stuck in a rut or a funk. And by understanding these potential reasons, these are just some of the reasons, not all of them, but by understanding them, you can better identify the possible reason as to why you're feeling stuck in a rut or a funk. However, if you stay tuned, and I hope you do, I am going to give you five steps to help you get out of the funk or the rut that you're stuck in. Stay tuned. Hi loves, welcome. I'm author and intellectual wellness advocate, Katie Gates. And this is the channel where I help women like you and me become the best people that we can be. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. So the first step to help you free yourself from this rut would be to identify the root cause. If you can't identify why you're feeling this way, you can't free yourself, right? So if we identify the root, we heal the problem. So ask yourself thoughtful questions like, when did I start feeling this way? Or what happened before I started having these feelings? If you ask yourself these questions and you answer yourself truthfully, you will be able to identify or pinpoint specific triggers. Try to use self-reflection or take some quiet time to reflect on recent events or changes or stressors that may have caused your current state of feeling. And mind mapping works great for this. Mind mapping is just another way of saying creating a visual map to explore the different areas in your life. So work, relationships, health, it's visual so it helps you identify where you might feel most challenged. Step two, recognize and acknowledge your feelings while also remembering that life is a balancing act. No one's perfect, life isn't perfect, but it's definitely worth living. So this is where you accept where you are emotionally without judgment and understand that feeling down sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, is completely normal because you are a human being. 
journaling works wonderful for this. So if you can, spend a few minutes each day writing about your thoughts and feelings, and this will help you identify what's really bothering you. A good trick for this would be to use your favorite mood tracker. If you don't have one, I have, I have placed my favorite mood tracking app in the description box below, so check that out. But if you use a mood tracking app to log your emotions daily, over time, you'll notice certain patterns and this can help you understand your triggers and certain cycles that you may be stuck in. Step three, reignite your passions in your joy. Schedule time for fun, for joyful activities. Place them on your calendar to prioritize them. Use your phone's note app. Just don't go a month or a week without scheduling some kind of fun. A good tip for this is to rediscover an old hobby. What was something that you used to do that you stopped doing? Something that you love doing, but you no longer do anymore. So think back about activities that you loved, but you may have abandoned. No shame, no blame. We all do it. You know, we're human. It happens. But when you latch onto a hobby that you love, you're reintroducing yourself to things that can ignite joy and passion in your life. Something that I love to do, this is personal, but I love to create a joy list. And if it works for me, I know it will definitely work for you. So a joy list is a small list with enjoyable activities like reading and cooking and writing and making tea and making homemade vanilla. Those are just some of the things that I like doing. But when you create a joy list and you do this for 30 days, you will most likely continue doing them. And this opens so many doors to so much joy in your life. I promise you it works. I do it all the time and it works. Step four, connect and communicate. This is where you plan regular social activities, even if you don't feel like it, because being around people that uplift your spirits will help you get out of the rut that you feel stuck in. However, if you are an introvert, trust me, I feel your pain too, my friend, but this is where I challenge you. Find the courage to step outside of the norm and put yourself out there, even if it's for a day or you know three days or a week, just give it a try. You will thank me later. <laughs> A good tip for this would be to reach out to a trusted friend or a family member and talk to them about your experiences. Let them know why you're feeling like you're stuck in, your, in a rut. When you share your experiences, you're verbalizing what's going on in here and up here externally. And this can help bring some much needed clarity to you. A good trick for this would be support groups. Don't be ashamed to join your local or online support groups. That's what they're there for. Find an online or a local support group related to your situation so you can share your experiences. And this oftentimes provide comfort and gives you new perspectives. So in other words, it opens your mind to the possibilities of why you're stuck in a rut and will allow you to free yourself even quicker. And lastly, step number five, create a routine and set goals. Use a planner or a digital tool of your choice to structure your day. Because as we all know, structure can provide a sense of purpose and accomplishment. And what human being on earth does not want to feel accomplished? You do, I do, your friends do, the people you work with do. We all want to feel accomplished. A good tip for this is a morning ritual. This is where you start your day with a positive routine such as meditation or exercise because these types of practices can set a positive tone for your day. And most likely, if you start your day on a positive level, you're going to end your day on a positive 
level. A good trick for this would be SMART goals. SMART simply stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound goals. And this is when you take your large goals, massive goals, and you break them down into smaller manageable tasks because this can help minimize your anxiety and make your goals less daunting. If you want to learn more about SMART goals, what they are, how to go about implementing them into your life, check my link in the description box below. It is a whole world of information and it's free, absolutely free. I'm not even asking for your email address in exchange because I genuinely want to see you get better. So there you have it, my five step blueprint to help you get out of a rut or a funk. Again, I'm author and intellectual wellness advocate, Katie Gates. If you like this video and you find it help and you found it helpful, excuse me, or valuable, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and don't be afraid to share the video. Until next time, best of luck to you, feel better, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.